It's a bit of a race against time um, with these stones because Anna sent me on a mission. This is just heaven for me. Last few days, uh, Cyril's here. I'm just trying to clear up outside. We've got quite well advanced, but I'm just going to leave it on a time lapse showing you how we clean up uh, these stones, how we get them on the back of the trailer and, uh, sorry, the the van and uh, and how it's looking. It's a bit of a race against time um, with these stones because Anna sent me on a mission um, earlier on. Uh, didn't really have the time, but she asked me to go and get some flowers so she could do a flower arrangement. Um, so yeah, I've got to get these. Um, I've got to get these stones on the back of that um, van as quick as possible so that the lilies don't open up, and also, of course, all the other flowers going off too. I thought I'd take on Anna's skills of spotting spring flowers and uh, she was doing daffodils i'm not so sure what this is and i'll probably put it in in the vlog what it is but we've got another summer flower uh, spring flower coming out Just while Cyril's uh, arranging a few of the stones on the on the van, I thought I'd um, address something that I'm sure everyone's going to ask anyway, and that is, how does this stone lifting machine work? So here it is, you can see this scissor action. Now what happens is, of course, as it gets wider, you can get a stone in there. And as you actually lift the stone, so it starts closing because of the scissor action, the the, and when you start lifting it up there basically what that does is it puts more and more pressure on the stone the heavier the stone is more pressure again as it goes up in the air so basically um, the stone's weight is creating these two here to put more and more pressure on the stone and clamp it in place and so that's how the stone does not fall when you pick it up because the pressure of the weight is making it even more more and more uh, cut, kind of uh, clamped into place hope that explanation actually helps you rather than making you a bit more confused about it and um, quick time lapse and then we're off Hello everyone, we're at the chateau, Ed has been, has been doing back and forth in Vienna because he's tidying up with cereal and I asked him for a special request to get me some flowers, well obviously I ordered the flowers, I put them on one side, I selected them and he went to get them for me because we have a visit and I want the people that are coming to see the chateau because they haven't booked, it's a wedding for 2023, I want to make the chateau look pretty and it's something that I love and Am I sleeping? Charles is good, he's playing with his Legos and I have the baby dogs outside with me and we're going to be doing some flowers. I thought I'd show you quickly what I've chosen. Some hydrangeas, some lilies, white ones. Obviously we have little opera here. Eucalyptus because you, you can never go wrong with eucalyptus. And then here we have some light pink roses, some more light pink roses here, and 
other ones, which are hot pink ones. So white, cream, white, pink, hot pink, and greenery. And with my two assistants, we'll be doing some flowers to brighten up the entrance of the chateau and a few of the sitting areas so it looks nicer. Away we go. So the first thing I will be doing is cleaning the flowers. What I mean cleaning is just like getting them out because these ones, they have a little bit of plastic when they come. So obviously cut this off, put them in water and then as soon as I need them, just pick them up, select them, do the bouquet and then go in the flower. This particular one uh, we found in Villeneuve and I want to use it for flowers because it hasn't been used in God knows how long. So it'd be nice to have flowers again in here. I have my hydrangeas down. I have my little basket with scissors, secateurs, because some of them will be harder. And then obviously my my wire, my floristry wire, so I can use them. So first, this is what I do. Always on the side, there we go, and then straight into water and taking away the plastic, obviously. The next thing I'm doing is sorting out the, the white lilies because they're really, really tall. I think they're seven, 70, no, not even seven, they're 80 centimeters long, but there was a, the special, there was a special on the lilies. I have to just clean them a bit. They haven't even opened, so they're going to look amazing once they're open. So I have to, I have to get them. But what I do is like just cut them like about two, three centimeters. And after it, take all the greenery off that will touch the water so they last longer. And then use them, but they won't open. They will be stunning. And the good thing about lilies is, and with in general, they will last much longer. So we're gonna go back onto the time lapse. But look at this. The next stage, the beautiful roses. I mean, how these are obviously they called uh, rose pink, and I think they are amazing because they open up. They have like a bit of a cream on the outside and light pink on the inside. They're beautiful. So it's good. these ones will take a little bit to get them all ready and opened, but they look amazing. So I've just done the last rows and it, it takes a bit of time. It's not as easy as we think, but the good thing is the, the first set of pink roses is done. And now I only have to do, before I can start making any flowers, I only have to do the hot pink ones. And these are called uh, Lola roses. How beautiful, look at the color, hot pink, I love it. But the, light pink ones I think they it's funny how the light pink ones are called pink but the hot pink ones are called Lola so yeah hot pink ones it is okay starting with the light pink ones I mean hot pink ones sorry not light pink we've just done some light pink ones at least with this kind of packaging they won't get any damages because I don't like it when example the little petals they have a little mark it's just it's not very good for bouquets, but like arrangements, yes. But I always take off the petals that are around that don't look as good. Packaging wise, this is amazing. Look how well protected it all is. Although the pink ones, well, the ones called pink that were light pink didn't have many thorns. These ones, I don't know whether you can see, they have many more thorns, so this is going to take slightly longer, but it's okay. There are special tools to take the thorns out. The problem is, I just prefer 
prefer to do it with my hands so I don't damage and break the roses. And here I will put these ones, once I cut them, over here. And the two together will go really, really well. I'm going to put it on a time lapse again, otherwise it's going to take a while. Okay, so roses prepped, hydrangeas prepped. I just need to have a think whether for the bouquets I use lilies or I just do the lilies just on their own in a big vase. Because I think they're quite tall and I don't like it when the flowers are nice at all just to chop them off just because it fits the arrangement. I just prefer them to, to show their real beauty. But look how nice these are. I mean, the two together, they're going to go really well, especially with the hydrangeas. So I'm just doing this so you can see how big this is. but. Like to be able to hold flowers again and to, I'm gonna say, have fun with flowers is amazing. I mean, I love eucalyptus, the lilies. I think I might incorporate a little bit. I'll show you how it goes. I might do it in a time lapse because if I don't like it, I can just change it again. But obviously, I'll show you what I do and then I'll decide whether I go with it or no. But I mean, look at this. I'm just gonna show you the others because I think we have, this is where we have the light pink ones, hot pink, hydrangeas, and greenery and lilies. I just thought the best way to show you all the shades is actually here because you can see all the flowers and look at this beauty. This is just heaven for me. Okay, now that I've had a bit of fun carrying all my flowers, that look absolutely amazing. I think it's time now to actually do the flowers and show you. Let's go. So I got all my flowers ready and prepped. I've got my eucalyptus here. Beautiful as always. I mean, you can't go wrong with eucalyptus. How nice is this? And I mean, it's perfect. Eucalyptus sometimes, like in peak summer, it doesn't look as good, but at this time, it looks amazing. Got my lilies all cleaned, all ready. Look at these. And then I have my light pink and hot pink roses and the hydrangeas. So, I did by mistake decapitate a rose, but it's okay. I'll just, uh, I'll just give it to Emma. I'll put in a bit of water with a sprig of eucalyptus. That's going to look cute anyway. Yeah, just like this. Little sprig of eucalyptus and that. We started. Okay, I'm going to make a start. And I think I'm going to start with beautiful hydrangea, number one. A pink rose. Easy. White pink one, another easy choice. And then now this is gonna be where I need to decide how I incorporate the lilies, but I think that I'm gonna be doing it like this. There we go. I think this is what I what I want it to be like. And then I will just build it up as I go. But before I continue doing it all, I'm gonna put it on a quick time lapse, otherwise. This could take about 20 minutes just to do one bouquet. done. The reason why I'm saying that is well, obviously the dog is approved behind me 
but also because my hand is gonna soon have a cramp because I can't hold it anymore and like I, I don't think I can even if I want it it's like I don't think it needs to be any bigger for than this for like just the entrance as you go in the chateau I think this one is gonna look so nice oh, look at my baby dogs I'm gonna turn around so you can see the baby dogs look at that they're all chilled oh the cuties so yeah that's it one done I hope you all like it I'm gonna continue a bit more but and let me just go and try and go in the sun because I'm doing it in the shade so the flowers last longer look at it in the sun because I can't even see the screen I'm gonna look at this I think just a hint of like hot pink and then the colors and the smell is just amazing I mean it doesn't get any better than this that's it one done I think I'm gonna do one more for the salon and probably one more I don't know whether I'll put one in the kitchen or in the piano room I'll have a thing but I think I'll definitely be doing three of them and I just love it and the smell amazing no, just the, well, this is definitely the easiest part, the time. So I've done one for the salon. Same kind of theme, same kind of colors, and it's very really colorful. So that's it and then I will do one definitely for the piano room as well so then I'll have my three bouquets on my third one it takes about 20 minutes to do one so not bad at all we're almost there the only thing is it has to be right I always want to want to make sure that everything is as it should be even though it's just for just for me it's nothing like I'm not we're not selling this just because I love them and actually well it is in a way selling because it's um, I'm trying to sell the place so to make the shot to like have more guests and hopefully for weddings to start again currently doing the last one I'm just checking sizes because I my only problem is I don't know how to make small arrangements well I know but I just like big arrangements and I'm just check adding the final touches bit of eucalyptus then it's gonna be all ready I'm gonna put it inside and show you what it looks like in place so yeah just doing the last one now but look at these beautiful beautiful stems I love it I thought I'd show you something because that's my test when I know the bouquet is good enough when the bouquet stands on its own so let's have a look look at this this one is in a vase perfect but look at this standing on its own i mean not bad this one i'm gonna if you, if i wanted to go in that one i'm gonna have to cut it a little bit but i think i'll put in something else but look at this just sitting pretty on its own i love it okay it's 5 p.m now so a bit late in the afternoon but i can show you everything i did and what it looks like now just to just to have a look in the downstairs common areas in the chateau with the flowers let's go and have a look in we go so there is one there now we see i had some that broke so i did too many ones but look at this here how beautiful is this Obviously, the ones here, so this one, slightly smaller, but still nice. And obviously the other sitting area, which I think with the flowers, it complements it really well. And that's it. 
but I also decided to do because in the end I did have more I forgot that uh, instead of just getting 25 of these in the end I got well I got 50 and I completely forgot so what I did is what I had left over I put one here on the piano because it looks good normally would need a few more but I think that's okay and I put some in my absolute favorite jug because I just had them and I think they look amazing. So that's it. All the flowers done and ready for the visit.